show your reaction to the change that was made today? Well, yeah, listen, obviously as a competitor, um, you know, listen, I'm disappointed in um, just the way that the last two games have went and, um, you know, wanted to provide a spark and get some wins for the team and wasn't able to do it. So obviously just, you know, mostly disappointed in that. Shane's ta talked about Anthony's strides with you being the start of the past two weeks. Have you seen that out of him? Yeah, listen, I think anytime you come in uh, to this league, you, you know, you, you have things to learn. And, you know, I, I think he's I think he's done a great job of keeping his head on the right way and, and showing up and working hard. So, yep. Joe, what did you I assume you were kind of prepared that this might be a fluid situation when you, you became the number one quarterback. Were you kind of just taking it week to week, not knowing how this might go? I think that's the only way you can take it in this league, no matter what the situation. Um, if you want to play your best, you have to focus on the week uh, that you're in and the day that you're in. So. I wouldn't say I gave it much thought as to what the situation was. I was just excited to play and excited to be the one out there competing and, you know, doing what I love to do. Joe, what was Shane's message in yesterday? Oh, listen, I mean, I think the, you know, Shane made his decision and informed the team today. Um, and obviously me and Shane had a private conversation and it was a good talk and, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. You've been in, we talk about it, you've been in this business for a long time. I'm sure you probably, you, you you're probably familiar with situations like this. It just, is it just part of the business where you just got to you know, move forward and you know, be ready to go this weekend in case they may need you? For sure, yeah. Listen, I mean, you can be in your feelings all you want, and it's going to affect you in a negative way. So you still have to keep your head on right, um, go to work, um, and, and always be ready to go. Do you think your play over the last two weeks may have factored into that decision to go back to the Well, listen, I, I, I think – Every time you take the field in this league, you're, you're being evaluated. And um, like I said a couple minutes ago, uh, definitely disappointed, you know, in the way the last two weeks went. Anytime you walk into a locker room like this and, you know, you have the ability to go play for the, guy, the guys next to you, you want to do a good job for them. Um, so that's the biggest, you know, thing. I, I, I really do feel disappointed in the way the last couple weeks went because when you walk into this locker room, you want to be able to, you know, really, really hold your head high and feel like you've done the best for the team. And I didn't necessarily feel like I did that. We just talked to Anthony and he mentioned a number of times willingness, eagerness to learn. And when we asked who he learns from, he mentioned yourself, Defoe, as being two of the big people. What have you seen from him over these last couple of weeks in his eagerness to learn, do what it takes to be QB1 for this franchise? Uh, you know, I just see, um, you know, just a, a sense of growth and maturity. Um, I would see just a sense of growth and understanding of um, not only just, you know, how much that position means to the team, but also just the responsibility that comes with that. Um, you know, just a dedication to the, to the preparation and just overall growth um, in the last couple of weeks. I think the reality of the situation is, look, he's not perfect. None of us are. He's going to make mistakes. Um, you know, I think you know, I challenged uh, the rest of the, the captains and the leaders in this team to, you know, let's earn our role, let's do our job to help support him and have his back um, the same way we had leaders um, when we were young players that had our back. So he's in a tough spot because uh, the position that he's in has such a, um, a microscope on it and his decisions mean so much to our organization. But um, we got to do our best to help support him and, and have his uh, back along these times. You said from the jump that you believe he's the future of this team. That was two weeks ago after he had gotten benched. What gave you that faith back in that you would not necessarily see it right now, but just you knew that this wouldn't, wouldn't be the end for you? I mean, I never doubted, you know, who he is. I've never doubted. I mean, since the day that he was drafted, you know what I mean? I felt like um, I understood what this journey was going to take. You know, it's highs and lows that comes with uh, a young quarterback. Um, and, you know, I just felt like, you know, this was a part of some of his adversity. Um, this is a part of his story. This is part of his journey. Um, a lot of great players have had to go through, um, you know, similar types of adversity. Um, you know, I think he is going to learn from this experience and grow and be better because of it. We're all going to be better because of it. Big game Sunday, playoffs possibly on the line here. Got to get it. How much are you looking forward to having the AR lead you guys and try to make a run here as you get ready for the I mean, look, he's the one. You know, he's the guy that's going to, we got to lean on. He's the guy that's going to be the future of this organization. So, um, we're five out there, we got a chance. Now, that being said, we got to do our part. Um, defensively, there's things that we could work on, there's things that we could be better on, um, and we focus in on that. Um, we got a great challenge on Sunday um, against an extremely talented group, regardless of what the record says. Um, so we just got to continue to, uh, you know, get better and, and grow as a team.
once again, another tough quarterback you're going to go up against here once. Give me your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers. I mean, we know <laughs> what he's done in his career, but how much are you looking forward to that opportunity? I mean, look, he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. I mean, he's one of the best ever, you know, I mean. I think he's a Scientologist. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a hell of a player. Um, I'm looking forward to playing against him. Um, you know, I've watched him for a long time. Obviously, he has Devontae with him. We all know about Devontae. Um, I mean, Garrett Wilson is a hell of a young player, too. Um, just the plays that he's been able to make, um, you know, the last couple of weeks. So they got weapons all over the place. And with a, a extremely uh, smart uh, and veteran quarterback like Aaron, I mean, we got our hands full on Sunday. So. How do you think AR just sort of, not with the media or publicly, but just facing music with the team and kind of looked in the mirror at himself and have you seen him maybe just own the things that he said he has to improve on? Uh, and I don't think it was easy. Um, you know, I think uh, sometimes, you know, you know, you got to kind of learn and grow from things in real time. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, but I think he took it in stride. You know, obviously last, coming a couple weeks ago, that was a tough day for him. That Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that was a tough day. I mean, the whole world turned their back on him. Um, everybody was kicking him while he was down. Um, but I think it was the guys in his locker room that even when um, it was at his darkest point, he knew that we, we kept telling him that, look, we still believe in you. We still got your back. And we're going to be with you when you come out on the other side of that. So uh, now we're on the other side of that. So let's, 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 let's rock with each other and let's keep going.